Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Saturday, September 16th, so you know what time it is. It's Wax Gaming Weekly Recap Time, where we try and go through all the latest updates from this past week on the Wax blockchain and anything that's coming up here in the very near future. As we've been saying over the last few weeks, September is a busy month and it's going to continue to escalate and get better and better and more busy, hopefully throughout the rest of the year. Uh, there's a lot of people coming back from summer breaks and there's activities happening just about every single week. We have a lot to cover this week and I wanted to go ahead before we actually jump into it and apologize for my lighter video schedule this week and maybe next week. It's been just crazy here, uh, but we're going to go ahead and continue to bring up the, the videos as quickly as possible. Uh, so I will, we'll definitely continue those going forward. Uh, I had a few people reach out to me concerned because of the video slowdown. Uh, it will continue to move forward. Just a crazy week on my end. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to kick those up and, and crank those out here again next week in the following week. All right, let's go ahead and dive into all the news within wax starting off with one of the biggest updates that's coming up here in the very near future. Taco Universe's new game, Combs, is going to be launching here soon. They actually have a sale coming up here on the 22nd. Uh, it's going to start at 1900 UTC, and they're going to go ahead and drop the first packs for this. Maybe uh, may, maybe the only packs, first packs, I'm not sure of all the details, uh, but that will be dropping here soon. And on September 26th, the actual game is going to launch. If you're at all interested in the details of this, go ahead and check out, out their Discord. There's a link medium article there that gives you all the details about the new game plus the drop that's coming out here i'm hoping to get a video out here shortly about this also uh hopefully early next week maybe maybe in the next few days um it'll give you all the details around at least high level details around the game plus this drop that's coming and then once it actually drops we'll go ahead and do an actual uh gameplay review of the new game once it's available like we usually do for taco games uh so that will be coming here shortly Next on the list, we have Mining Architect actually had three drops this past week. They had their, their uh, second round Rebus miners and then their first round of the two new ones, Verto and Ludus, uh, which are different blockchains. Not quite a bit, not a lot happening on those chains, but they're they're up and coming. Uh, but it's a chance to go ahead and continue the their farming uh, and you can go ahead and start earning their coin early. Uh, just a reminder, if you're not familiar with Mining Architect, they are the only mining game that's on Wax that is actually based off of a, a physical mining farm that's in Iceland. So it's actually got the, the hardware to back up the mining, uh, which is very rare, uh, not just on Wax, but any other blockchain. That's why I highlight them and, and tend to not highlight other ones. Um, but they had those sales that happened this week. Plus, they have the the new token for them that is going to be coming out shortly. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. So they do have one more sale. It's the Nook token uh, miners that are going to be coming out in the near future. They will be the token of all the games for Nook Studios. Uh, so it'll just be a chance for you to go ahead and start mining those because they'll be used just like FGL uses FGL throughout all of their games. Same with this Nook will be used throughout all of the Nook Studio games. And they do have games in the works. Uh, so keep an eye out for that sale and all the details. Um, next on the list, we have FGL starting off with Outlaw Troopers. Just yesterday, uh, I technically I'm recording on some Friday, so for me it's today, for you it was yesterday. Um, they went ahead and dropped their new vault, F, uh, FGL vault, uh, where now the NFTs actually sit in the vault too. We Over the last couple seasons, uh, they've had it where you have to transfer the FGL token, put it into the vault in order to use it within game. They are now this season releasing essentially one for the NFTs also should make less transactions, should make things a whole lot easier. Uh, it just, you have to, like with most games, you have to stake the NFTs within the vault or within the game. Uh, so they just dropped that uh, yesterday with the your claiming of the prizes from last season so those of you that were in outlaw troopers and were able to rank in high enough to earn some rewards you can go ahead and claim those within the vault uh check out their discord for the link in the description also they will be kicking off the new season they're just trying to work out a few more kinks uh this is a big change this this vault uh for the nfts is a big change and they want to make sure it is smooth sailing when they kick off the season itself so that's why it's the season's been a little bit delayed as soon as it's released i'm going to go ahead and put a video both featuring the new vault plus any new changes for the season so keep an eye out for that video coming up here in the near future next on the list we have 
Uh, Cosmic Clash went ahead and kicked off their season this past Monday, season 10. Uh, so if you're in a Cosmic Clash, go ahead and check it out. Uh, go ahead, just like with their other games, uh, they have a leaderboard. And if you can rank high enough in the leaderboard, it's free NFTs uh, just for playing. Uh, so it's a fun, fun way to get some additional NFTs that can be used in uh, other games within FGL. Um, then last but not least, they have the, the Mecha World. Just a small note here, they added a free-to-play version of the, the dice game in here. Uh, so we'll go ahead to go ahead and check those out. Uh, the next dice tournament. Uh, so it gives you a chance to go ahead and play, even if you don't have all the NFTs or the FGL. Because uh, normally it does cost a, a bit of FGL to go ahead and jump into the, the dice games. Next on the list, we got Parsec. Uh, this one is still an alpha. Uh, keep in mind, I must keep repeating that it is an alpha. There's going to be issues. Um, they did release an update that resolved a number of issues. You can now go ahead and stake your commanders uh, and cleaned up some, some things in there. They've mentioned a few times that they are on track to finish all of the features uh, by the end of this month. I, I know there are some people that are a little bit frustrated with this. We, we kind of expected the game to be a full version uh, on September 1st. But remember, this is alpha. What they're doing is a lot of this are still going ahead and developing. But in parallel, they're trying to test a number of things to balance. They've already done a number of things that balances out. The true launch for this game is not technically until November 1st. We're in alpha. October will be beta. And then November 1st will be the official launch where they hope to have all the kinks uh, worked out. And I must say it again, alpha and beta are for testing. There will be issues during those. So keep an eye out for that. Um, so more updates for this coming in, uh, throughout this month. I, I'm, I'm excited for them to get the strategy portion in the game. Uh, it'd be fun to go ahead and test it out for, for all the hype that I've heard around it. Next, we have Danu Games, which is Avalon the game. Uh, I mentioned this a number of times, had a full video on this uh, earlier in the week where I kind of featured the September updates of the Avalon that's coming out here shortly for alpha version two. Um, the 30 day passes and seven day passes are not available for sale yet, at least not at the time of this recording, but they may be available soon. Uh, again, just a reminder, 30 day will give you the option to go ahead and collect the badges, which earns you, uh, the NFTs within the game, uh, and then potentially the character that you can go ahead and use in beta and, and launch. And then the seven days, just a tester, uh, and it's, it's for $10 a tester. You don't get any NFTs from that, but you get to test out the game to see if it's right for you. And if you want to continue to move forward with it. All right, next on the list, we have uh, Wombat went ahead for Dungeon Masters, and they're going ahead and making a big update to that where you can go ahead and actually use multiple candies throughout it, uh, throughout the day. Uh, up to 12 candies right now. If you play it for free, you can go ahead and use one candy. It gives you a bit of a production bonus uh, during that time frame. Uh, it's a two-hour time frame where you can just continue running and get that bonus. You have the ability now to go all the way up to 12, which will cover all 24 hours. It does cost some Wombat to go ahead and unleash those, uh, but that's going to be coming up here. I believe it's next season uh, where that'll be available for you to go ahead and test it out. Uh, just gives you a, a big production boost that you can go ahead and continue to work. Uh, next on the list, we got Nova Pangea. They actually went ahead and they released a new event that they're doing for september uh it's actually multiple events uh it's based on your production within the game basically if you're active and you're competing uh and producing within the game you have the ability to win a number of different prizes from land claims to novo unskilled workers skilled workers uh lots of different prizes that you can go ahead just for playing the game and, and uh basically continuing to produce uh and be active within the game itself uh, then we got uh, Felium went ahead and released their grind market, which is very similar uh, from the from the for what we just mentioned from the Nova Pangea. Essentially, you get to get a payoff for just playing the game and going ahead and grinding within the game itself, uh, and you can use that towards this new grind market. Uh, next on the list, we have Battle Miner and more specifically Shadow Depths. Uh, this they, they had a number of updates in their Discord. I'm really just going to highlight this one, but I encourage you if you're in uh, NFT Battle Miner or Shadow Depth, check out the Discord if you haven't seen. They have a number of announcements here, but I wanted to feature on this because I like when uh, projects do this. They really reward you for playing last season. If you went ahead and uh, activated your Shadow Depth Battle Pass, uh, you can go ahead and obviously earn prizes and, and additional rewards during that season, but you'll now also get a benefit for the next season, uh, basically a 25% discount on the pass for next season. In addition, you're going to start with your clone being at, at level two, which is uh, one more level up. Um, if you remember when I did my gameplay review on this, 
one of my little frustrations uh, was how slow it took me to go ahead and level from level one to two. Uh, minor thing. Uh, again, it was a minor thing in the game, but this gives you that extra little bonus uh, that'll help you get higher on the leaderboards uh, and give you the extra stats. So lots of things that are happening with this. I, I like it with um, when projects do this, so I wanted to make sure that I highlighted this, and especially if you're in the game and you haven't seen this, uh, and you do have the battle pass, you will get rewards next season for it. Next on the list, we have Realm. Just kind of, We're in between events right now within Realm. Uh, they just wrapped up the building event, which ended on September 10th. And then I, the reason why I wanted to highlight this is because the first global event is kicking off here on the 21st. Uh, if you've seen any of my Realm videos, especially related to global events, uh, these are big, especially for leaderboard chasers. Uh, if you're trying to get higher on the leaderboards, take advantage of these two global events, one that's kicking off the 21st and the other one will be November 2nd. Uh, it's a great way to go ahead and get, get those bonuses and, and raise up the leaderboard as much as possible. Next on the list, we have Worsaken. Just want to give a quick note on this. This actually, again, happened your time yesterday, my time today. Uh, the loot packs uh, went ahead and dropped yesterday, your time. Um, so keep an, if, you, if you were playing it at all, go ahead and check out, see if it's in your wallet. Uh, then Forged Arena went ahead and did another update. Uh, they're continuing to progress forward on the Unreal 5.2 uh, Plus. And if the reason I keep highlighting this is right now, graphics within uh, Wax, if you're a big graphics fan, they're kind of lacking um, unless you enjoy like the, the pixel art or things like that. The ones that have like superior graphics that you see from big web 2.0 traditional games come from the things like Unreal 5. Um, there's very few games that are really trying to implement that within the Wax, Wax blockchain, uh, Forged Arena, Avalon, uh, for beta, for Avalon. Uh, and it's a big deal as far as uh, intriguing uh, additional players from traditional style games. Uh, so that's why I want to keep highlighting this. I, I'm really curious to see how it's going to look uh, once they release it. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to look pretty darn nice. Uh, I just haven't seen any images or any sneak peeks of it yet. Zombie Coin also went ahead and did some updates this past week, really some requirements, for example, bicycle being a requirement for the boost and the mega uh, for the mining um, and different things like that. Just minor things that that may impact your game or improve your game. So keep an eye out for that when you're in the game. Uh, it might be acting a little bit different. Sticking with the zombie theme, ZOS went ahead and did an announcement. They've been very quiet for several months now. Uh, they run into the, obviously uh, some struggles with the bear market, just like every single project. Uh, they just went ahead and posted an announcement, basically re reconfirming that they're continuing to move forward with this. Obviously, they had to restructure a little bit with the bear market and the, the challenges that go along with that, which is understandable. Uh, but they wanted to go ahead and let everybody know that they're continuing to push forward, continuing to work on the era for release that, that'll be coming out here in the future. Uh, so go ahead if you're a, a ZOS fan, uh, go ahead and check out the, the update uh, and be reassured that they are continuing to work. Um, next on the list, we have Blockchain Brawlers. This is this is one I also wanted to highlight is the fact that we have another game that's going to be on Epic Store. Uh, the Brawler Lands is there uh, now that they have uh, Blockchain Brawlers. We have games that are starting to get more on the, the Epic Game Store. And if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's essentially a Steam type of platform where you can go ahead and get games. They are much more flexible and allowing uh, Web 3.0 games on there. So it's a big deal when we get more and more games on that platform from uh, Wax Blockchain. Uh, it just helps spread the word about Wax Blockchain and also gives uh, the games more visibility to get more players. Uh, so there's, there's very few games right now that are on there. Uh, obviously, Forged Arena, then we have Blockchain Brawlers. Uh, Avalon is very close to it. Uh, so we'll have more and more, and it'll just give us more visibility uh, throughout the, the gaming community. And then here we go, Pixagon. Uh, I did a highlight video on this on Dread Wager last week. Uh, it was a gameplay review. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, they've been continuing to go through the updates for a free-to-play game. They're putting a whole lot of work into this and a whole lot of updates into this, uh, which is pretty neat to see. So if you like that skill-based style game, Go ahead and either check out my video or go ahead right to their Discord and, and test it out for free. See if it's a game that's right for you. And then last but not least, we have a Funko drop that's happening here on the 19th, uh, where it'll be Jurassic Park. If you're a big Jurassic Park fan, uh, you, you're going to like this. 
Um, so it is a limited drop. There's only 60,000. I say only 60,000 packs, but normally their drops are, are over 100,000. Uh, so I expect it to go pretty quickly, especially since there's only 15,000 premium packs, which is a little bit of a different ratio. I mentioned that last week than what they normally do. Normally it's even between standard and premium. Uh, they went with the, the lopsided 45,000 standard and 15,000 premium. Curious to see how it goes. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. They do have all the, 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 redemption pops available if you want to check those out that's it from the updates uh, i'm sure i missed something like i said it's been a busy week so i haven't been fully focused uh on all the updates i coming through but i try to get as many as i possibly could go ahead in the comments down below let me know if i missed anything if there's any games that are coming out here in the near future that i should check out um just let me know i hope you all have a great weekend and i'll talk to you later bye